Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're back to back with sessions again today. And we're here with illustrator Alva. I was going to introduce you as London-based, but you just told me <laughs> that um, that is not up-to-date information. No. Um, so introduce yourself to everyone. And if you're in the chat, do say hi. Um, we'll be live for the next 20, 25 minutes with you. Alva, introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Alva. I'm an illustrator. Yeah. No longer based in London. Uh, I now am back in Stockholm, Sweden, where I'm from. Yeah. And um, I moved back during the pandemic. Yeah. I work digitally, but I've also started working more with uh, pens and paper again. Yeah. Which yeah. I really enjoy. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Nice. And we have to mention to you. You said you have a little bit of a cold, so we appreciate yes. this even more. <laughs> I don't um, have COVID. I just yeah. have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you do hear, um, you know, that we're a little quieter, especially with the noise behind, um, it's just a cold. <laughs> I hope you get better soon, though. Um, so what brings you to OFF? Is it nice to be back? Um, you're kind of getting the vibe from everyone and all these creatives again. Um, have you attended any talks or uh, yes. what's your feeling? I've attended a few talks. I've been sitting in the sun, drinking nice. beer. I mean, lovely. It's it's crazy yeah. being around so many people again. It's yeah. uh, and I've also been buying lots of stuff in yeah. the market. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great. It's 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 very inspiring. Yeah. And we have a full day again today. I think you're going back tomorrow, but the shop is definitely popular. I've also been around um and there's so many talented artists around, so it's been amazing. Um, tell us a bit about your journey. And you just said you went back to Sweden. So what brought you to London initially? I think you went to St. Martin's, right? Yes. Um, so you were spotted very early on, I think, in your career. And that's a really interesting journey you've had already. Uh, tell us a bit more. Yeah, I did a bachelor in graphic design at mm -hmm. Central St. Martin's yeah. in London. Yeah. And during my studies, I did a bit of freelance work, but not so much. Yeah. Um, but I really wanted to take the leap into freelancing. So I contacted some illustration agencies yep. based in London and I signed with Jelly, Jelly London. Yep. And I've been signed with them since then. And I think it's, yeah, I'm also surprised how well it went so quickly, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but I think also the support of having an agency, especially Jelly, yep. they're very nice and I feel very safe with them. And yep. They make sure I get all the contracts right and the pricing right and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I've been freelancing since, and uh, now I'm actually uh, studying a bit again in okay. Stockholm. I'm nice. studying a masters uh, nice. just to kind of find that community of people because mm -hmm. it can be quite lonely being a freelance illustrator. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine the last two years as well. And you yeah, know, I speak to a lot of creatives with Adobe Live, and um, I think support has been really important and also to just keep inspired and having those conversations. Do you feel the masters is necessary in any other way or was it just purely kind of connection? I think it's mostly to find that community, but also maybe to get some time to work on yeah. my own work, yeah. uh, not commercial work. Yeah. So I'm mixing, I'm freelancing at the same time. Yeah. Um, so it's a great mix of, uh, I mean, this master is very much you can do your own thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm really enjoying that. So personal projects are still really important to you um, yes. and I guess drive you there. Yeah. Um, you've been also um, spotted, uh, you know, and going back to that by DNAD, I think quite early on. Um, and that must be quite overwhelming as a start in your journey. <laughs> um, so it's nice to see that you've kind of yeah developed and you, you continue with this. Um, how have the last two years been with clients and, and keeping up your work and just staying inspired? It's been good. Yeah, I've been very lucky, I think. Um, clients come back. Yeah. Um, I receive work that I also really enjoy yeah. to do, um, briefs that are interesting and fun. Yeah. So it's a mix of um, commercial advertising, but also editorial work yeah. for magazines. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy the mix. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have quite a strong identity in your work in terms of proportions. We'll have to, you know, have a look at that as well in colors. Um, so we'll share a bit of your work. It's already screen sharing probably. Um, if you can have a look, we'll start with your website, for example, yep. or Instagram as you want. Um, and just go through a bit of work. I think editorial is obviously a big focus for you. Um, was that an obvious choice for your work? Or? Um, yeah, I guess I was dreaming about doing editorials yeah. when I was studying. I really enjoy uh, doing these. This is a project I did with the New York Times yep. Holiday Books yeah. edition. And I made these spots uh, for the different categories of um, 
a books that they uh, yeah. reviewed. And I really like doing spots. Um, I don't know why, but it's kind of like you have this condensed little space and you, you try to um, communicate through that little space. Yeah. So these are all like this, for example, is um, the spot for books. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sports. Yeah. And horror. And traveling. Sorry, I'm going through these very quickly. No, you're I? fine. <laughs> <laughs> and children's books. Super nice. And I think yeah. you have quite a... Um, clear vision in terms of kind of the topics you address. Can you tell us a bit more about, yeah, just equality and the different topics that you bring into your work and inspire you? I think representation is yeah. very important in my work. Yeah. And I try to always avoid reproducing stereotypes, yeah. gender stereotypes or racial stereotypes. Um, and yeah, I think it started uh, when I was studying that I kind of used exaggerated perspectives and yeah. uh, weird body limbs to kind of change how women are depicted, yeah. for example, or representing women. And then that's also moved on to all the kind of work I do. So um, I really like to play with the perspective and because I realize that that can really enhance a message or uh, create a narrative. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, completely. Yeah. <laughs> Should I show... Uh, oh, a bit of animation is great as well. Yeah. I work with... So my illustration agency, uh, they, they're also a production company. Yeah. And they have an animation studio. So yeah. I work closely with, with animators from there. Nice. When I do these kinds of commissions. So this is something I did for WeTransfer. Yeah. They it's so nice to see your work come to life now. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> really nice. Yeah. And uh, so these are, s yeah, spots I did for WeTransfer yeah. for their file transfer service that appear when you, when you send a file. Yeah. And uh, when I work with animators, I um, kind of tell them how I want it to be animated. They send me some rough animations. I draw over wow. to make mm -hmm. sure that I want all the facial expressions or... Um, yeah perspectives right and then we send it back and then it's kind of back and forth yeah so this loop is yeah, yeah in place what do you work with in terms of kind of tools um, for your work I work I sketch in uh, procreate mm -hmm. on my yeah. iPad and then I finalize in Photoshop okay um, on my on my laptop yeah and I actually I I only have a laptop and an iPad because I really like the that I can just go anywhere and work. Yeah. It's really like that freedom. I was about to ask you, do you kind of get inspired on the go as well? Or is it uh, kind of dedicated? Do you have a studio or where do you work from most? most I don't day? have a studio right yeah. now. I work from home or uh, at my school. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I do like to, to um, sketch in cafes or... Yeah. Um, yeah, I really, yeah. I enjoy when it's kind of like fast and... You yeah. just have to sketch something quickly, and I usually sketch very small, uh, like thumbnail size oh, sketches wow. in my sketchbook. Yeah, and then I move on to iPad, and uh, then Photoshop. Yeah, you talked about hands-on kind of pen and paper as well. I think that's quite interesting that a lot of people go back to that. Um, yeah, I really missed drawing with ink and pens and paper. So yeah. during the pandemic, I bought a scanner. Yeah, I I didn't own a scanner before. Yeah, so now I can. Like for this one example, uh, here I the the lines are all in ink. Okay, yeah. Uh, and it's just like it's so enjoyable to always to to draw with pen and paper again. And then I scan it in, and then I color it in Photoshop. And this texture is like a texture brush I made. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Uh, to also get that. Um, Nice yeah. feeling. <laughs> yeah, I was also looking for the word like <laughs> pattern. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and this is also Dimension. Um, lines in ink that I scanned in and then colored them afterwards. Yeah. So when I work with pen and paper, I only work black and white, and then I work with color. It's quite funny because everyone's talking about about the kind of technology and going even more and more elaborate with the tools, but going back is also a trend for some illustrators who are yeah. just like, hey, let's make it simple. Let's go back to basics and, and exactly. Just, yeah, and I think that it's also that you you want to 
I think it's something about the lines you get or when you draw. I mean, it's not as precise yeah. when I draw by hand because I don't have that smoothing tool, but yeah. I kind of like, I want to incorporate those kind of mistakes or rugged lines. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just my way of working. Everyone has different ways of working, yeah. I guess. And it's also kind of changing it up as well, like trying to trying to find new ways of approaching my work uh, so I, I don't get bored of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love my work. But I uh, like that you had photography there in couple shots. Um, as this well. one? Yeah, layered on. Yeah, this is... Uh, I actually showed this in my presentation here at OFF. This is called nice. a project called On Top of the World. And it's a series of illustrations based on a trip I did to New York City. So I took photos with my cell phone mm -hmm. and then I sketched on my iPad because um, I was really inspired by the skyscrapers and yeah. I really wanted to draw my characters like King Kong and Godzilla. Yeah. I think the proportions work so well with yeah. the scale, right? You're like, oh, you. I, I think imagine it. <laughs> it was also a great way to just play with perspective and yeah. uh, it's like a puzzle. I yeah. had that image of a building. It's like, okay, how can I fit my character into this? Yeah. Uh, so this was so much fun. So and then you have a canvas already there that you... Exactly. Yeah. And I think also the mixed media was something I wanted to try out. Yeah. Uh, and then when I posted these, I, I got a lot of great responses. So I was That's really nice. happy about that yeah. as well. How important is that community feedback for you? I guess you also have your Instagram there, but um, you know, what kind of channels do you like to use or do you even like to use that as a <laughs> communication tool? Yeah, I enjoy Instagram. Yeah. Um, I always try to post new stuff on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, it's also it's almost like a second website, I guess. Yeah. Like f easily for people to for people to find my work. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have it there. This is my Instagram. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I also have Behans that I update yeah. regularly. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's it actually. What kind of was um, is next for you, and what are you excited about to work on? I guess you have the masters in line. When do you finish, and and what kind of projects are you? Do you have upcoming that you can share? I finish in a year, okay. and um, one project that I'm working on in my master is I'm working on a graphic novel. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm I'm hoping that I'm going to finish that during my masters, and I'm very excited about wow, that. Wow, very cool. Looking yes. forward to hearing about this. And and what was your talk at off about? You also just mentioned this. So what was the kind of focus of your the uh, focus of my talk uh, was showing kind of the process of how I work, yeah. and I showed a lot of sketches, and I explained kind of the process of feedback from the client and different kind of projects and how they they work differently. Yeah, with deadlines and timings and stuff. Nice, awesome. Anything you're going to be attending today? <laughs> I really want to watch. Walk around. I really want to watch Paula Shear. Oh yeah, she um, was on here just um, on the first day, I think. Really? Yeah, it was oh, amazing. Cool. It's kind of epic when you also um, yeah. get to meet all these people, and you want yeah. like, what do I ask? <laughs> you yeah, can ask exactly. everything in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a challenge. I know. I, I slightly nerve wracking, but <laughs> we made it. <laughs> and I really want to watch Buck. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Buck. Nice, yeah. really cool. Yeah, um, and actually, a heads up for everyone who's watching: we'll have a bunch of more people today. We'll have Ian Anderson, who's joining us for a chat just now, and then we'll have portfolio reviews with him. Mm. Uh, and then I think we're going into Muscatons closing tonight with mm. us. Exciting, super cool. I mean, everyone was yeah, um, sitting was there. Um, <laughs> um, and who else? We'll have a Scholar um, and a bunch of that of that gang. Um, so. How does it feel to go back after all this creativity? I mean, for myself, I'm like still processing it every day. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, what is going on? It's a bit overwhelming. In a good way? In a good way. <laughs> In a good way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it cold because of all this? Or did you feel I don't know. Sick yeah, okay. Maybe. <laughs> when do you I go back then? Uh, I go back tomorrow. Okay. So yeah. you've done I'm going to enjoy today. Yeah. Make the most of it. And it's mm. super sunny here in Barcelona today. Yeah, so it's lovely. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. It was thank really you. nice to chat. Um, do follow Alva on Instagram and other channels that we have um, and show it today. Uh, in the chat, I'll just say a quick thank you to Oliver um, and Lee Hang for joining. Um, we'll be right back with Ian Anderson from um, Design Republic. See you soon.
Thank you.